Well, according to the American Cancer Society, the chance of a woman having, having invasive breast cancer during her life is about one in eight. If your life has been touched by the disease like ours, you know how devastating the diagnosis can be. What's promising is more and more people are beating breast cancer. Project Pink serves survivors locally. Yeah, Cynthia Sturgeon is the organization's founder and president. Good to see yeah. you, Cynthia. Nice Good to be back. here. Thank you. Yeah, you, Thank got you. A lot of, you got a lot of new stuff going on. Before we get mm -hmm. to the new stuff, talk about, uh, explain why the organization, an organization like mm -hmm. this is needed. Wow, well, we really soul searched for that question when we formed officially. And we really, there is a gap, we feel like, and what our experience has told us in research, is there is a gap in the needs for focusing on survivors and their quality of life. Mm -hmm. And so we want to help fill that gap. It's kind of the question of what now? You know, you go through treatment, you're at doctor's appointments, you're fighting the good fight, right? But then you have that when you're done, you're like, okay, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. right. And so we really focus on the point of diagnosis to the end of life and we try to help with those quality of life issues in the Nebraska and Iowa community. And right now you are taking applications for something special and something new that you've launched. Tell we, us about the retreat. We are. We are so excited. We've taken a big leap this year with lots of help but we want to, um, one of the questions going back to the question what now, mm -hmm. right? We want to, it's great when you're fighting and then you're surviving, but there is a whole different um, aspect to thriving. So we have a new retreat that focuses just on that about becoming bold and beautiful and brave mm -hmm. and to help turn that to a new chapter and you get to write that chapter in your life. So. Yeah, how does this help survivors? I mean, what, what type of feedback have you received from survivors on it? From survivors, yeah. 91, over about 91% of breast cancer survivors deal with ongoing issues after treatment and it's a lot of those aren't talked about yeah. and th well, it's like, uncomfortable. Like what? Like what? Well, we have issues related to um, quality of life issues, related to um, physical fitness, their body changes obviously mm -hmm. in multiple ways. Yeah. Their emotional health is, um, is a big barrier sometimes for multiple reasons. And um, just learning how to live because you've, you look at life differently. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to um, admit for most of us life changes. It's not going to be the way that it was what we call BC before cancer, yeah. right? right? So learning how to deal and define that new norm is really what this retreat is about. Yeah. And 91% of breast cancer sur survivors have difficulty with those types of issues. Wow. Who would you encourage mm -hmm. to apply for the retreat? We encourage people, breast cancer survivors um, in Iowa and Nebraska to apply that can dedicate the two and a half days that are one year post diagnosis. Now we get, do get questions, well what if I'm stage four and I've been diagnosed or multiple times or whatever. Mm -hmm. Those absolutely, those people, those survivors are welcome. And it's at that point in time we feel that they are ready, statistics prove they're ready to be open to this mm -hmm. type of looking beyond their treatment. Is this, this is all after treatment has been completed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We'll show you some information here in a second about the, the deadline and mm -hmm. how to apply. Mm -hmm. You have a space for about 16 we do. survivors. What happens? I imagine more than 16 people will apply. W there will be more than 16 people apply. That's really already happened and it's a fantastic, it, it proves out our, our, our re research. And mm -hmm. so it is a lottery so that it's completely fair. Mm -hmm. There is no discrimination. And what we will do is be waitlisted because we plan to do three to four next year. So it, will there be a cost to participants or do you cover it all? We cover it all. We have such an incredible amount and we want to thank the community on yeah. um, their support. And so we're able to fund this with no cost to the survivors. Yeah, so you're reaching out to survivors uh, to submit those applications, yes. but also the community. What kind of support uh, are you asking from the community? Well, we have um, launched a program as well with this retreat is that you can actually sponsor a survivor, whether you're a business or whether you're an individual. Mm -hmm. You can actually, um, there is a sponsorship program that you can sponsor a survivor to go through it, or you can help with any and all part of the retreat as well. So we have varying sponsorship levels, mm -hmm. and please, if you're interested, feel free to reach out to us and ask and we will go through all of those. Learn more about the application process online. Mm -hmm. You yes. can also learn more about Project Pink at this website. It's yeah. very informative. It's just mm -hmm. Project Pink with a D. Um, <laughs> org. The application deadline is coming up and that's mm -hmm. why we wanted to have Cynthia here today 
to talk mm -hmm. about it, even though the retreat isn't until April the 25th through the 27th. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The deadline is February 23rd. Mm -hmm. So if this is you or if this is someone you know who's been diagnosed and fits those parameters that Cynthia described a moment ago, um, please apply. This is so special, mm -hmm. brand new, mm -hmm. and thanks for coming on to tell us about yeah. it. Thanks yeah. for Great having us. Yeah. Great Thank to you. see you guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Pink. You. Yep. Absolutely. Really? Thank you. Yeah. Great. You Love it. it. <laughs> All right. So don't, you don't have much time. Um, I don't have any money to spend on yep. Valentine's Day. That's right. not a problem. Don't worry about that. After the break, gold, silver, real gemstone jewelry. Everything you are about to see is $100 or less. That's in the budget.